Hello, everybody. Uh, it's good to be here, obviously. I live, I'm actually from New Jersey. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> I went to Rutgers University, the State University of New Jersey. Uh, their slogan is, don't finish, it's not going to make a difference. <laughs> and I was an English major, which uh, prepares you for two things in life. Uh, you can teach English or be a dick at parties. <laughs> I believe you meant to say, whom ate all the guacamole? <laughs> Twas I. Uh, I don't even know if that's right. I went to Rutgers. Um, <laughs> Then I moved to New York City. I lived in Chinatown, New York City. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been there, but the fun thing about Chinatown, New York City, is that there are no rules. You can break laws willy-nilly, and no one's watching the store. If you see a police officer there, he's doing bad stuff, too. He doesn't want to see you either. You could literally drag a body on a tarp into Chinatown, and four dudes run up, and they're like, $10! And you're like, are you giving me $10, or am I giving you $10? Is this a punch card? I will be back, sir. Uh, by the way, sorry, if you don't know what Chinatown is, if you're from the middle of the country, Chinatown is when a bunch of Chinese people come to your city and they look around and they're like, yeah, we're not doing that. And they just build China in the middle of your city. <laughs> and everybody that already lives there is like, I guess we'll eat ducks. <laughs> so... Then I moved to uh, Los Angeles. I'm here now. Uh, <laughs> that has not been my experience. Um, I've been here for two years, haven't made one new friend. I don't look inside, I blame you. Uh, here's a re it's hard to meet normal people in Los Angeles. This is a real ex experience I had. I was at a party and this guy goes, hey man, you're really funny. This is my friend, he's a model slash DJ. I was like, whoa, one man can be two nothings? <laughs> yeah. So now I just stay home. I don't really go out here much. Uh, I do shows. You know, I stay home. I watch TV now. What's the best show on TV, guys? Best show on TV. Wrong. It's Jeopardy, everybody. Jeopardy is the best show on television. How ironic that you got it wrong. Um... Jeopardy's amazing. Uh, I think it's my favorite show because, uh, by the way, whatever show you just said, uh, I have proof Jeopardy is a better show. Your show will be gone one day. Jeopardy is here forever, no matter what. Uh, mostly because they have a perpetually renewable resource, which is three new contestants every night who are great at trivia, mostly because they haven't had a conversation with another human being in like six or seven years. And... Alex knows that these people are on the social disorder spectrum because he's like, so what words do you think is a story? And they're like, uh, I have a cat and then I come home and my cat says hi. And he's like, okay, you're going to be great at this game. Uh, but my favorite thing happened not too long ago. It was amazing. Some, a contestant did something I didn't even know you could do on that show. Uh, Alex goes, she goes, I'll take television for 1200 Alex. And he goes, this mode of transportation killed Charlie Sheen's character in Two and a Half Men. And she rings in, and I'm not exaggerating her answer. She goes, uh, I don't care. What's a bus? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could share your feelings on Jeopardy. <laughs> she spent $1,200 of her own money just to let America know she didn't care about Two and a Half Men. <laughs> And if you, can, you lose money on that show, you can end up with negative money, but you don't have to pay Jeopardy back if you're bad at it. You know what I mean? If you're negative five grand, Alex doesn't come to your house the next day like, are we going to have a situation? <laughs> so you could be smart enough to get on Jeopardy, not need the money at all, ring in first after every single clue, no matter what, and just share your opinions with America, <laughs> and nobody can stop you. I'd be like, I'll take South America for 1200 Alex. He'd be like, this is the longest river in South America. And I'd be like, boop. Hey, that Channing Tatum's so hot, I could have sex with him and I'm not gay. <laughs> and he'd be like, that's incorrect. And I'd be like, is it, Alex? <laughs> you guys are great. Thank you very much. Hey, okay. that was great. Thank you very much. That's hilarious. Thank you. Very nice Thank job. You. Thank you. Julian McCullough, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 